Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Thursday, August 31st. I would truly recommend people just stay home and take advantage of a rainy day. The effects of Hurricane Adalia on Flagler County were minimal. All evacuation orders were rescinded early in the day. We've decided to lift, or re- for lack of a better term, rescind our evacuation order for those in mobile homes and RVs. So that order is no longer in place as of uh, 9 a.m. this morning. Though Flagler County got through yesterday relatively unscathed by Hurricane Adalia, Lord reminds us that hurricane season is not over and says you should take advantage of that sales tax holiday going on right now. Through September 8th is another First time ever, than a second disaster supply sales tax holiday statewide. We definitely recommend our residents shop local and build up their disaster supply kits and save some sales tax while they do so, which even includes things such as generators up to a certain price. Also, the county is imploring residents to sign up for emergency alerts. For those who want to make sure that they can get emergency alerts timely from us, please subscribe to Alert Flagler. That's flaglercounty.gov slash emergency. And one of the first choices you will see is the Alert Flagler notification system. It's free to sign up and you can customize the messages you get. You can even tell it not to bother you at night, that we do ignore that setting if it's going to life, if it's a life-threatening issue. You pick which weather alerts you want to get. You pick whether you want missing person alerts and all that good stuff. So you have full control over that and it costs you nothing. So we highly recommend you sign up for those alerts. Palm Coast City Hall will reopen for business as usual today following Hurricane Adalia. Trash pickup was canceled for Wednesday in Palm Coast and will resume normal operations today. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. Flagler County schools are open today. Interim Superintendent Lashaka Moore tells us what went into the decision to close schools yesterday. I make a recommendation to the board and they supported that recommendation for us to, to close. But we really work in tandem with our, our local emergency um, management team through our EOC in order to make the determination as to if we need to close schools or not. And we work with our local private and charter to make sure that they have that information so that they can also make a decision. And what conditions warrant a school closure? It really is around our buses um, that we, we first began with. Um, is, can our buses get out safely and transport our students? Um, when we get sustained winds over 40 miles per hour, it makes it extremely difficult for our buses to get into different areas. And so that was a, that's when we're usually beginning to think about school closure. Of course, if there's going to be a possibility of flooding, we also take that into consideration um, as we think about our students standing out at our bus stops or being able to get to those bus stops safely. All extracurricular and after-school activities will also resume as scheduled today. And what of power outages in Flagler County yesterday? This is Gordon Pollard with FPL as crews headed north to assist with restoration efforts. And I'm here at the Chipley processing site for FPL, where trucks are now headed to the east to help with restoration following Hurricane Adelia. We've had several hundred trucks here staging, line worker crews as well as vegetation crews, and our own crews from Northwest Florida FPL are heading over there to help as well. Yesterday, it took Florida Power and Light just a few hours to restore power to over 2,500 homes in Flagler County. As we approach the weekend, let's take a look back at last weekend with the Flagler County Sheriff's Office Weekend Roundup. This is Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley. Last weekend, deputies handled 935 calls for service, made 259 traffic stops, and made 14 arrests. One of those arrests was an individual driving over 100 miles per hour on US-1. That's a great way to land yourself behind bars at the Green Roof Inn. Four other men were arrested for possession of marijuana. It is still illegal to smoke pot in Florida when it's not medical marijuana. Another great way to get arrested is commit a traffic violation while you're smoking illegal weed. Then you get to visit the bars at the Green Roof Inn. And finally, a fugitive from Volusia County was arrested after a traffic stop and deputies discovered He had two active warrants from Volusia County for violations of parole. He resisted arrest, so he still went to jail but now had additional charges placed on him. Making decisions like that is probably why he had warrants and has visited multiple jails. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.